Do you have business with the court? Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed for hundreds of years, and for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Oh, hello. Just... Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. Well, I suppose in that case, it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Don't mess anything up while you're here. through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You, are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sportable. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. How to rump! Well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Pelagius the Third? Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death! That's right! Death! Outlawed! Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? Really? Ooh, ooh, what kind of message? A song! A summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat, written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke, but seriously, what's the message? Oh, no, 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 no mistake at all. What you made was a choice. Granted, not a very wise choice, but these things happened. <laughs> oh, the folly of youth. You know, you remind me of myself at a young age. All I cared about was riding narwhals and sleeping in honeycombs and drinking baby's tears. Word of advice. If you ride a narwhal, mind the pointy end. Ah, but there I go. Waxing poetic about me misspent youth. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. You're the mortal messenger. And I am? Honestly, have you any idea? Jolly good guess. But only half right. I'm a mad god. THE mad god, actually. It's a family title. Gets passed down from me to myself every few thousand years. Now you, 
You can call me Anne-Marie. But only if you're partial to being flayed alive and having an angry immortal skip rope with your entrails. If not, then call me Sheagorath, Daedric, Prince of Madness. Charmed. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. A well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> Now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Oh, good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. Yeah. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy while they do the same. doesn't appear to be faring any better than before. They think train is on. gone. Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. Now, 
All my dear Pelagius has to worry about are the several hundred legitimate threats. But you're not out of the woods yet. Get it? Ah! Out of the woods! Ah! You've headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Need something? Well, now that's something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Got something to say? Yes. Ah! So now, my dear Pelagius, can hate himself for being legitimately afraid of things that actually threaten his existence. But only during the day? Honestly, I can't keep up. But by all means, don't stop now! Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, 
keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. A self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. I can take you. Never should have come go. here. You seem to be having a small problem, or perhaps it's a big problem. Maybe you shrunk the whole thing down a little first. Someone there? Spite of a flea! Wonderfully done! Pelagius is finally ready to love himself. Got something to say? Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. But no matter, heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septum the Third. Once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabajack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha ha! Ta-ta!